Hello, everybody! Welcome back to another episode of the Unturned Podcast. I'm your host, Kukui Charles, and we're joined once again by the Knight Rider. Uh, hello, everybody! Welcome to the podcast. I am your host, the Knight Rider, and we are once again joined by Trident Games. Hello, I am Nelson Wannabe, and this is Z-Man. That's going out next. Fuck you, with Axon! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Fucking schizo. All right. <laughs> the only reason Z-Man wants this podcast to start so fast is so he can finally be his true, authentic self. Dude. Was that okay. a good intro? Yeah, that's a good I'm, intro. Whatever. Oh, is it to redo it? I did that to redo Renna it? was complaining uh, about, me on the, about me being on the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Too he loud said and you are. I'm not funny. And fuck you. I'm the. Oh, yeah. The Ren, well, guy. there's no lore on Arid, so. Yeah, whatever. make an Arid lore, and then I might consider your criticisms. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm going to give uh, you guys just for a context, big kiss. Just for context, we're literally supposed to have uh, another. <laughs> like four guests this episode but yeah. they all like canceled because they weren't able to all show up at the same time courtesy which I'm of night's about, uh planning so i'm which i'm kind of glad about no hate towards them but there has been so much shit since the last time we've actually had like just us yeah i like how we other. did a we did a pre-recorded podcast and charles was like oh nothing's gonna happen nothing big is gonna happen and literally it was everything, it was kind of minor shit, everything hit the fan all at once what do you it mean was kind of minor it was pretty minor for a minor falsely. that was just an l so your Trident, Do you're gonna have to talk there? more of this podcast hold on, hold on. Aye, 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 aye. Aye. dude they're talking about dicks and balls i don't know what to like jump in with dick yeah dude uh, apparently nelson watches this show and the first thing we're getting into is trident saying dick and balls this is his first contribution to the park this is you're contributing to this see man you're contributing to this what see, man, you were going to address nelson about something i believe I hold up before before we get into that uh i want to say that the next episode will most likely have four guests on it don't so, fucking spoil it well i'm gonna say that because i'm gonna talk about the podcast real quick before we get into anything else because right i'm kind of annoyed uh, at night for being a bit silly Bro. and uh <laughs> and we're having four guests next episode so i hope y'all are ready to have your ears like annihilated listen this it's going to be time. organized they planned everything out the f there's four people because each one has a specific role <laughs> in their group that they get to talk about okay <laughs> this is going to be the best podcast in uh, existence <laughs> the night rider the night rider all right so wait so we have like multiple topics to address but how should we go first should we go with my topic oh, yeah. first or should we go with z-man's topic first because the thing is let's do it let's do try to right. i literally get annoyed okay, cause... whenever i see right. him and say that try doesn't speak wait what do you mean oh, topic? the the topic is one of my videos was outright stolen oh by, uh, by the russians, the russians. The yeah russians stole your okay here now here i'll describe i was browsing through youtube or at least the youtube uh, <laughs> notifications and all of a sudden i see a thing where it says oh the copyright thing discovered a video i'm like hold up what so i check and it was it was not even like a little parody or whatever it was a blatant steal the person just took my video from tiktok and put it on there was like no uh like link to the original video so I was like, hold up, what? And the channel said, un like, unturned official, but I was thinking, hmm, does Nelson even speak Russian? And if he does, <laughs> yeah. he would probably he would probably be, like, more businessman, like, manly. He like, probably he just translates email me. it. Like, I mean, exactly. I'm pretty sure uh, Nelson's, like, the Gustavo Fring of unturned. Nelson yeah, is the like dude just, is. just, it's, it's like those other math. accounts that come up, and they just farm it with shorts and stuff you know yeah no that guy's been spamming shorts for like uh almost every day like almost multiple times every day oh yeah the, it was wow, like he uploaded it was all unturned content too right it was it was all it was yeah mostly i believe it was mostly unturned content it's such a weird account. and weird there's mm -hmm. this one weird video there with like russian girls dancing and then an oh. unturned character dancing to it and it was like a fever dream i was watching <laughs> yeah it was, <laughs> they're, they're not only stolen they're really not very good at all My at nice. all okay yeah, um so let's see yeah so we're going to 
Uh, you know how some YouTubers say don't harass anybody mentioned in the video? Uh, harass this man. We will link in oh the my description. God. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I do not, this is not, this is a joke. This is yes, a joke this is a Night joke. Rider. This, this is, is a joke, joke by, by the Night Rider. Oh, wait, hold on. There's, there's yeah, one Night more Rider person I found, but, um, mm -hmm. they, it, was, it was more of like a cover slash parody, because they pretty much did the entire song, where I only mm -hmm. did like the first minute. But, like... <laughs> Yeah. Wait, it, someone sang the whole song? Someone like someone took parts of my song, put in there like the first of their song, and then just sang the entire thing. Uh, so I believe if right. you search up Chuggly with you on YouTube, you should be able to find it. That's also, okay, wait, wait, one more thing. So there's this guy named Kukui Charles with a very suspicious, you know, uh, how do I say it? Uh, pro like profile picture. And yeah. every time I look at my messages, he always says, Spongebob would like to have a word with you. <laughs> October 8th, yeah. 2021 at 9.18 a.m. Spongebob would like to have a word with you. All the way to now, 11.43 a.m. Who is this guy? I don't know. It seems like he knows yeah, who Spongebob I is. Don't, I don't trust Charles. He has an animated profile picture, like a cartoon, and anybody with a cartoon profile picture is automatically sus and probably a predator. <laughs> Speaking of people who are predators with cartoon profile pictures, Z-Man, do you want to go next? Yes, Can I talk explain. about me getting fucking false banned first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So let's, uh, let's break this down. I... It's my regular Friday stream, and we, you know, I get stream snipers all the time. It's not a big deal. But these people were just relentlessly just streaming the N word and playing audio with the N word. I'm like, whatever. It's funny because I'm killing all these fucking racist retards, right? Well, surprisingly to me, the fucking VOD, because I, I used to save all my live stream VODs, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So. I save the VOD is like just unlisted and it's like playlist that I put it in. Those those fuckers that said the N word went and reported the VOD for hate speech. I got a channel strike. I got banned for a week. I tried contacting YouTube about it and they did nothing. I got no response from a human. I don't even think a human reviewed it. Because if a human reviewed it, they would have clearly seen that I wasn't like saying anything. I was denouncing those people. They were just like stream sniping me. So yeah. Very I got rude. false banned on YouTube.com, and YouTube is fucking a joke. It's actually a joke. They don't. No yeah. one works at this fucking company. It's all robots that work at YouTube.com. It's robots. Didn't you get a response by like four I, times? That's a by bot Twitter? on Twitter. The Twitter. Are you I sure? I that. don't trust. I don't trust that's a bot. No, no that was I feel like it's a bot, a bot because all they all the messages I've seen, and I've seen like a lot of messages where people Their like ask were like just help. Linking They're very a support basic. thing. Like they the the first thing they sent me was oh go appeal mm -hmm. but i already yeah. had appealed at that time and it was they're also yeah. they're also very vague when it comes to our messages appeal saying, rejected. oh no like something not like only this that happened, not you know? only that but can i mention how i got a youtube warning because you need a warning first before you get a strike i got a warning on september 21st of last year and that was also from a fucking live stream vod where i was playing minecraft in 2018 at like 480p or whatever the fuck, very low quality, and I got fucking flagged by the bots for nudity, and I got a fucking warrant for it. I tried appealing it, once again, appeal rejected. There's no point in appealing on YouTube. So, I deleted all of my live stream VODs, except for, like, ones I deemed, like, important to save, and I'm just, I'm just not gonna, my live stream VODs are just, I'm not gonna share them anymore. They're all private. Even that might be too much. I might have to delete them all, because YouTube can just strike private videos because yeah, they did they that did with the... like monkey jones yeah i was gonna say guy. monkey yep. yeah they did monkey that to him so over. if they want me gone they could just false fucking flag my streams for something i'm sure there's another audio somewhere in one of my live stream of someone saying a racial slur so because people are hilarious no it's ridiculous no i don't oh, racial I... slurs are so funny my favorite one yeah is, so uh... i, I oh i'm God. gonna have to like mute the game chat or something it's just so tiresome like even my the very last stream i did like literally yesterday i had someone do it again it was just one guy though and you know it wasn't that big of a deal but... yeah you could just not stream anymore <laughs> yeah just don't stream man. yeah on. just nah, don't stream, stream. Don't make videos. Make that, like, honestly. funny moment just make funny I've moments move no, no no move to twitch Fuck no, 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 Z -Man, Z -Man. no no you can stay on youtube just start making like base rating videos and then just like Offline a bunch of people on like zero pop servers so you don't get countered and then just wait 
to get the loot and to get like nine. Is this a P nine? Yeah. And then hire the and then hire the know. then wait hire the jurors to actually get your stuff for you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Get the jurors and tell <laughs> them. Yeah. <laughs> you guys fucking told me not to mention P nine, and you guys are fucking doing my bit. We hey, I didn't. Totally we didn't mention it. Hey, I hey, mentioned hey, the hey, jurors. Hey, I use my P nine card. It's your fault, you man. <laughs> Well, hey, picking, you. Speaking of uh, P9, he 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 uh, contacted me, and I actually got to help him a bit, a bit with his unturned blackout project. Who gives a fuck Shut about up! I am the black. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, okay. It's just you're working for just... Activision now. What P9? You're working for Activision with P9. No, I'm Activ not working with him. I was just an advi I was just nuts. an advisor for the lore. He asked me. He basically Slavery, asked basically, me then. what factions from the game would be fighting, like who would be fighting who, what would they be wearing, that kind of stuff. So, and he's just he's gonna credit me as a helper, basically. Mm. Okay. I didn't get paid or anything. I didn't pay him. I just Nerd. I just did this because I wanted Unturned Blackout to be good because it really it looks fun. I Is it I want to try it Black out. Black Ops maps? Is it really just Black Ops map? Yeah. Black uh, Ops for maps? now, for now it is, but it's I'm sure they're gonna duty, add man. more. But it plays just like Call of Duty, yeah. But yeah, he has Nuketown and Freighter. I'm sure he'll add a, some more original maps and maps that are also from Call of Duty. Uh, I don't know. When looking at the the Twitter video he put out, dude, like the majority of those people that were playing on there didn't look like they even know how to move their mouse. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah. Like they look like they didn't I'll even know how to press that. W on their keyboard. Dude, what <laughs> even? This is fucking cringe. Uh, Ain't nobody want to play Call of Duty on Unturned, bro. I do. Fuck I mean, that. I don't know. That's, I should make my own fucking PvP event, and I'll give a fucking Silver Maple Strike. Oh, it looks, <laughs> it looks fun. I don't know, Z, Z Man. I, like I think people would. I think people would play because people play like Rust, Rust Turned, and Unturned Turn Off. So it's like mm -hmm. basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. Z, uh, he's just contributing to that entire idea of just like. Copying games and putting it into Unturned, hey, which is kind just, of—it's kind of cringe. It's Next. a sub—it's a subgenre of gaming, which is kind of weird because the majority mm -hmm. of those games do not play like the actual game that they're trying to parody. It's so bad. Well, like because Unturned is like Unturned it's not very limited, but it's very be better. I'm it's scary. not those other games. It's not Escape from Tarkov. It's not CS:GO. It's not Call of Duty. It's not Rust. Mm -hmm. It's not. Dude, Rust. I remember. I remember playing actual Rust and having like a fun time, and then going to Rust Turn and being like, "This is awful." <laughs> Dude, kids, I, spring, like the thing is, like the AK recoil isn't even like that difficult to control on like actual rust, where it's <laughs> you know it's a very strange pattern. It's an S. I know it's an S. No, it doesn't even begin like an S. It begins like, like a cursive like, L or whatever. A cursive L. A cursive like it like goes everywhere for a second, then it goes to an S, and then I can control it from there. That's funny. Um. What else? Okay, so. Let's see. Wait, uh, Z Man, do you want to explain the uh, your uh, most recent video to the audience? Oh, so I made a video on the Unturned forum, uh, but it was actually just a ruse. It really wasn't about the Unturned forum. It was about me ousting Unturned Groomer Reign of Pain, and uh, he got his account banned from the forum. So that's good. He said he's making a response. Perhaps he said he said that on the form. I can't pull up any of the like I messages. I wish I screenshotted them because um they're all deleted now because Molten Mantra deleted all of it. He locked the thing and deleted everything. Uh, but, the, uh, the <laughs> guy was banned from the forum. Um, and now he was saying on the forum before it was deleted that uh, there might be a rematch. A rematch. Or something? Not a rematch. rematch. What, the, what are you talking about? Like he's gonna respond to your video. I don't think. Yeah, that's will. what I mean. That's what I mean. He's gonna respond to the video. He's gonna well, respond to my video with a video. I don't think he's going to, but if he does, I will genuinely be surprised. I mean, I don't know how he's gonna defend himself. Apparently, he's doxed people. I have a whole twenty-one page document about everything he's done, like that. Have, mm -hmm. That other people have made. Like it's not just me okay. saying this stuff. So I read that document. Uh, it's very interesting, I could say. Reign of Pain, if you make a response before, video, we will make that document public. The document is already, it already is public. public. I'm just yeah, gonna make it. Yeah, but nobody knows about it. I'll probably reply it. to it with the document. I'll probably reply but, okay, to okay. it. He had a document called, um, fucking that, the, do the name of that document, and then debunked. So he has a debunked document. I would like if he sent me that so I could look at it. 
because he did send it on the forum, but um, I fucking don't. I don't. Have I don't it. know why Molt. Rem I don't. I don't like this that Molt just completely removes history. Like it happened with Fleshy. Like entire that entire fucking like thread is gone. I recorded that whole entire thread to make sure for the future for my purposes. I wish I did that. I recorded the whole thread to make sure that it, nothing got disappeared. Uh, I didn't think this was gonna get disappeared. If I'm being real, I didn't think Molt was gonna do that. And he fucking nuked the whole entire comments, which is annoying to me because there's a lot of interesting things that people say at the, the current time. And to me, that's just a, like removing of history. You're scrubbing a little bit of history there uh, from the Aethers, even if it was like a day old. Like that shit still, you know, in my opinion, needs to be preserved to a certain degree uh, of what people said and what people did at that time. But that's me personally. And that's something that's my, my gripe with this whole situation is that fucking molt scrubbed everything uh directly after that um yeah you wanna talk? i don't know Zima, I did don't you know read the actual memory hold it like that i don't know Zima, did you did you uh read the document uh that was given to you and yeah, that was given to it me? was just odd well yeah. okay me me knight and trident uh were well i was reading the document out loud to them it was very fucking weird um, so I, I can give a little bit of context. Rain is like a person that was he? he's like an anarchist or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, he has like he's, he's very political person. He's politically drived. Uh, I know that for a fact. And yeah. he was a part of these Discord servers. This is all based on the document, by the way. This is all based on the document that was that was given. So it's this is all like alleged and all like I guess we'll put the document somewhere. I don't know where, but in this document, uh, it said that. This guy was a part of two Discord servers and was, expl like, at, like, what was the exact wording? Uh, He's just he was, fucking weird, bro. No, he yeah, was talking to, uh, he was talking to, he was talking to, uh, like, multiple underaged people. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was no proven evidence of, like, him asking for anything from what I was reading in the document. Besides him saying a lot of weird shit. Which is the same shit that happened with Azzy. Yeah, it's uh, weird. It, it, he, him just saying a bunch of weird shit to people and uh can saying, i just like, say uh, tr uh i just want to bring this up i can't i don't want to say the guy's name we don't want to give him that much attention but uh our little uh charles our little friend orange friend that shoots fucking bullshit and flames out of his mouth was oh, oh yeah rain. yeah yeah he was defending rain it was well funny. no he was, he was he was he was trying he was trying to make you look okay he's just grasping for straws to make you look bad that's basically yeah. what I got from that he's entire like, statement that they put. He's not important. But yeah, Rain, yeah, yeah he apparently he's done this like new. The guy just needs Hold to, up. when you're horny, just get off of Discord, bro. <laughs> like, get the fuck out. Here's, the, here's the weird thing about that document. The he document. Also someone, apparently. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The document is a bit strange. Because in the document, the document uh, allegedly says that Rain is actually a lot older than what he actually says. There hold is up. like a hold up and like a whole thing. And there that he was actually born in 1996. Alleged. And that he's, yes, yeah, it's it correlates with an Instagram account and some other account that they found that would belong to them. And literally, like it was saying that basically they believe that this guy was born in 1996 because of these two correlations of these accounts, and also that he's in the, the bunch of screenshots that he was basically saying that he lies about his age all the damn time. So he could like, either talk to certain people or get away with certain things. And those are images that were given there. I don't know if they're, you know, those images are, you know, foolproof or not. Like if someone faked them or not. But I mean, to me, that looks like something that he, that they would say based on what I've seen, uh, directly from Azzy and what, how Rain has spoken to me in the past too. Mm -hmm. Um, it's the same. It seems like the same mannerisms, the same typing style. So I believe it's them. I don't know. It's I personally believe it. You guys can make your own like judgment on that if you go and read that document. But that document was kind of uh, weird. So technically speaking, Z Man, this guy would be I don't know. 19, what's nineteen ninety six to now? Nineteen ninety six. If he's lying, if if he's lying about his age, nineteen ninety six minus twenty twenty two, he would be twenty six years old. Jesus Christ. So he was. Oh, so he I don't potentially was. So. I don't know. He, we've we've so seen images of the guy. So it isn't even the three-year age gap. So so he would be. Let, let's let's just say because based on what they believe in that document, which is like a bunch of like admins for these servers that they were a part of, uh, he was twenty-two years old while DMing like Azzy. I don't like, know that, that we can't we can't 
allegedly, allegedly, allegedly based on allegedly. based on the document, based on the document, and, and them saying that document. they believe that it was not that he was born in nineteen. I don't know. I actually <laughs> doubt it because I have an image of the man, and he doesn't. I don't know if this is someone that looks. 26 i don't think he looks 26 obviously don't show this on the podcast and don't let this leave the chat although to be fair he posted his own face on the forum so i don't know if he cares mm -hmm. but uh i don't know that's a good that's a good question though i don't know z man it's the the whole entire document is very strange i would say like there's a couple of things that seem a, a bit weird. So I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, that guy! That guy could totally be 26. He sure? the, but it looks like he's. Up, but up. it looks like he's in high school, so I don't know. Unless that's a college. <clears throat> oh yeah, true. But I don't know. That looks like a high school, shitty high school or something. Yeah, that know. guy. That guy is like. This guy's like 17, going on 30. I mean, like, he does. He dude. does. I don't know. He has interesting hair. But that, I think... Well, no, wait, that looks like a chemistry classroom. Or some sort of, like, science area. That does well, not that, look like a cafeteria. Unless you want to fucking hire 4chan to f locate this high school, because they could probably do it with the oh fucking my God. window oh. open. <laughs> yeah, wait, the someone has the vans background. in the background. Who wears vans? I don't. Dude, chill the fuck up. It's not, about the, it's not about that guy in the red shirt. It's about the guy <laughs> that we're talking about. This guy, this guy, I don't know, man, but I want to okay. hear this fucker. I want to hear this guy make a re fucking reply to me because I think it'd be interesting. I mean, I don't know how you would reply to someone like that. Like, it's all like the what is he going to say to true. disprove what I said? I asked him on the forum. I'm like, can you disprove what I said? And I don't recall him saying anything, but I can't. I don't remember. Maybe he did, but I didn't. All see I it. know is based on the the document and what they found. Those people, which are admins of like, uh, from what they said. Pretty major like Discord servers, um, based on what they found and what they have been talking to this guy, uh, more so than I I believe even we have uh, in our communities. So I don't know. I based on the document, which I I don't know. I find it somewhat credible to a certain degree because it does seem like this is pretty yeah. factual. Let me fucking look at this shit. Send me the document. I want to look. You have the shit. document. You have Where to just download it, it so you can see the screenshot. Go look. You have the document. Send you it literally... to me real quick. I don't remember. Didn't I send Dude, it I'm to you? Dude, I'm not sending you the document right now. Didn't I send it to you? It's, yeah. Let me look. Because I asked for the do Okay, so no, see I sent the document because I asked for the document. It's somewhere in, the, in our you chat. Did... Oh, it's in this chat? Yeah. Well, it's gonna take forever. Just send it to me. No, bro. I'm not fucking sending it right Daddy, now. send, please. Shut the fuck up. Okay. No, but like, like this is a fucking weird situation, and honestly, I don't know. I don't know. We have to wait a little bit. I was gonna tell Z Man because technically speaking, we were supposed to do a different episode with a bunch of other people uh, beforehand. Uh, but now it's like. Uh, oh, I found the box. Now it's this. I found the document. All right, let me look at this shit. Wait, which um, document? The one we okay, read. We got this. Okay. Fucking this guy needs to stop being horny on Discord, man. Like, goddamn. What's this Honestly, guy? Honestly, and he uses on. those weird like cat emoticons. <laughs> yeah, and he's weird, he's like, man. Oh, 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 you're gonna be such a pretty girl. I'm gonna force feed you feminization. Which pal. said which like, which said he was twenty four. This go person look, saying he go was look down and they'll, they'll say like later on, they'll say like something the the dates of something correlate because he was, uh, there was two dates that were owned accounts by them. Born, uh, oh, I see this, I see this, I see this. Born June 1996, unless he just, like... They, he said that, uh, they lied. Someone's saying he's a purophobe, a serial liar, and a douchebag. Confirm yeah, the whole document's very really interesting. It recently was confirmed by him sending a photo of his driver's license that he... 18, lying about his age, make himself look more cooler and more mature. 24 or 18, he is an awful person. Who had yeah, I, I don't know about that. They don't they don't show any, server. like, actual Yeah, he had it, images. like, in a narco-communist server, and he was just using it to, like, share pornography. This guy, I don't know. It's weird. It's some weird shit. Sounds like so, an anarchist. That's, I wish I never made a video called The Dark Side of Unturned, so then I could make a video titled that, and it would be about this instead of the fucking unturned 
You couldn't just say the darker side of Unturned. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm not wrong, am I? I might just make. I just might. If he re if he makes a video, I'm gonna reply call saying like exposing an Unturned rumor or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. The guy's weird. I like how. I like how Nelson probably watches this podcast. He probably just listened to our fucking. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. Uh, hi, Nelson. I don't That's think funny. he. I don't think he's watching. I think it was a fluke, to be honest. Oh with man! You. I think he was just being nice. I don't think he actually watches the podcast. Uh, Nelson, if you put a timestamp <laughs> of Z Man put he, saying that, if, I will laugh. <laughs> if he puts a timestamp saying "haha," by the way, just want to clarify: when I was talking about Nelson the last, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I was just saying how I thought it was kind of interesting that like. He's very, he's, I, I don't know. He seems very invested in, like, not looking, you know. I mean, sus. yeah, I mean, I, I would, too, if I was in the same yeah, position. To be, to be fair, I get, yeah, sure. Like, I don't want to look bad. Plus, um, based on what he said, I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be looking bad in a position like that. Yeah. It's very, uh. You have a lot, a lot of responsibility, I would say. So, what's next on the the agenda? Now we've gone through like. So we got uh, the. So we got fucking <laughs> conspiracy. Just kidding. It's not a conspiracy. Allegedly, this man is a serial liar. I don't know. This is definitely some damning evidence, though. Dude, he probably is a serial liar. Mhm. If he's a serial liar, then yeah, he probably just makes all these fucking like debunk documents and all this other shit up. To cover himself. Probably. I don't know. Which I believe sucks. that the majority of that document is probably true. But there are certain things that are left out. Or like, like if you read messages, it seems like certain things are deleted. I don't know. There could be a little bit things that are sus about the document. I want to say I that the on the forums, um, okay. both him and Orange Boy were mm. fucking saying I was calling him a pedophile. I never said that. I said that. I, I actually said it. Um, I said, I don't think... He's a pedophile. I I didn't say I didn't even say pet. Oh wait, shit! You might you have didn't to even... Actually, I think how how far are we into the podcast? Like thirty minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I think I think I can use that word. I think we'll be fine. I don't know. I've been told don't fucking say that. You get fucking striked. But I don't know. No, you'll get you'll get like put in a black hole of content because among us. Okay. Mm. I won't say I'll say a like some young from here on out. <laughs> uh, I said that so I said that I said I don't think Rain likes some young. I just thought I was just saying that he's just a degenerate and like a mm -hmm. sexual deviant. I never said that, but they were putting words in my mouth. It was kind of silly for mm -hmm. them to say that. And like No, I don't I don't trust that. Degenerate? I mean like anything that the yellow person would ever say. Whoa, is like yellow the yellow no, no yeah orange, orange yellow bro. orange Come yellow on, i'll say yellow because the imposter that um, no but anything that they clown. say is like it's fucking just i don't know it's just really out there and most likely just trying to he got banned uh, from the forums he got banned either... for doxing wait people. wait doxing hill or am i or if it's now apparently rain then, dox yeah. someone as well that's another thing Oh man, uh, he docks. doxed an individual. I don't know who. So he pulled a Sky Jackson, basically. Probably, yeah. He probably fucking pulled a Sky Jackson, and he doxed him. I mean, that's what it says. That's what it says. Molten Macho said that himself. He was like, after further evaluation, we have banned him because, and then you can look, and it's like because he was doxed being people. So I'm like, what the fuck? Wasn't there another reason too? There was like disobeying like staff, like something. I don't know what was it called. Um. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying i got him a false ban but i never really i mean i re-brought him up and probably actually did i get him banned because molten is saying that the video didn't get him banned they just reevaluated. but i guess no it technically no. did because i brought it back up and then they reevaluated because of the video yeah didn't, wasn't there a whole yeah. comment on, the, on your video saying that they would look back well, oh yeah, Molten uh, commented on my I'm gonna video, be right yeah. back really quick. I'm getting coughed. He's going to Dude, this guy. He's going to shit and piss. Wait, no, uh, Z man, did you make that entire document presenting all that evidence, or was that of uh, someone else's? Those doing? were like that was like a Reddit, a subreddit made that. Really? Or some shit. Yeah, apparently. So, apparently. so this guy has been 
on their watch list for quite a while. Dude, this guy's been in multiple nooks and crannies of the community, and he's been getting blacklisted left and right. It was about time he got banned from the forum. So now he's banned from the forum. Um, I'm assuming the Discord... Let me read the well. reason for his ban. Would not listen to staff feedback and consumed disproportionate amounts of staff time. Previous issues of disrupting or aggressive conduct, doxing, and other misuses of the site so apparently he was doxing someone allegedly hmm. so um i was expecting myself to get banned as well since since i like you know like it reminded me of that uh that situation fleshy. with yeah that fucking hey, that the same fleshy situation wait so wait the, like is what do you mean like is it that fleshy situa situation he got brought up orange banned. guy but then he got uh, suspended because he like what? Why did he get suspended, Charles? Because I don't, I don't. Oh, because it was like an attack. The whole entire thread was like. Quote, unquote, I was expecting attack. to get banned so, because my video was kind of a, a well, it wasn't an attack. It was an expose, and then we were. I was directly responding to him in the chat, so I don't know. But I guess it's a video. I didn't do it on the forum. It was off-platform activity, so. Mm -hmm. Such a and strange, somebody, such a strange somebody posted your video to have a discussion about on the forum, and Molten just locked that and said, "This is not Man, a I'm... YouTube comment." <laughs> right. I wish someone else would post it, and like just so I could like see feedback about everything else I said, because it was just consumed with me and Rain arguing, and then um, it got banned. I don't know. Very I would like weird. it. Just, I mean, because I mean, I guess there's. I don't know all the p p things that people. I never saw anyone disprove it. There was only like three people, but. I don't know. How many? Okay, okay. Uh, Z man, how many people came out the woodwork and said like stories to you? Because I was reading your comments. And I did see a couple of people saying a couple mm -hmm. things like, "Yeah, I've seen um, this person had, do this, this." And I've this. had, I've had numerous. Well, Firen came to me. He's like, "Yeah, this guy's an asshole." Uh, I had. Uh, I don't want to say any names because I'm afraid to not. No, just say like how many people did because I know like one, even our guests. Right, let me count. We're saying one, shit. One. We got one here. We have. Uh, where's the fucking other? There was more than one, two, um, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, six so far, I think. Se seven, possibly? No, nah, just, I think just six. Six? Yeah. Six. And the whole document seven. of all those people. Seven. 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 The whole document people came that was sent to, me to you. That I have. No, I. Seven people came out to me either saying good, like you're, you're. Well, actually, no. Five low also. So technically, like all of them. So eight, nine, ten. So I've had so ten people, people come out. <laughs> I've had ten people come out of the woodwork and say, "Yeah, this guy. There's a lot more about him that you should know." And now I'm thinking hmm. of doing. I've, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I might if. If, um, I don't know what to do, I think maybe my next video will be about further expose, but I mm -hmm. wanted to do this other thing, but, so I might do that first. If he responds to me before I'm finished making that other thing, then I will do the, um, <laughs> you know, then I'll make the either response or a video, just a follow up to that. And also, I do want to say, like, the, the whole technicalities about the age thing, whether it was a three-year gap or a ten-year gap or whatever, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, you can tell by the chats that Azzy was not consensual. He did not consent to any of this. I don't I don't know. Another thing I noticed was, like, <laughs> fucking, yeah, what's weird. it called? Uh, Rain was showing me screenshots of Azzy also doing it, but, like, that doesn't really... I mean, the guy could have just been, like... That doesn't, it's like, that doesn't mean anything. If he didn't want the things, he if he didn't want fucking to be messaged that way, then he didn't. Um, If he was going along with it a little, it's, it still doesn't make it okay, so. You know. Uh -huh. That's my Also, the fact that they were trying to get, like, get them to contact uh, him. As he was, like so not as he, uh, like, Rain was like, apologize now and... <laughs> Or I will make a video or take down your video and apologize. I'm like, <laughs> no. Apologize? Is that what he wanted said? me to apologize. Bro. Even though I fucking was just, it's just reporting, really. Oh my god.
<laughs> All right. Is there anything else that has happened recently, or is I that? Think on, I think on that topic we can move on. Uh, yeah. I think that was a lot of time we dedicated Maybe. to that. Maybe. And I probably miss said yeah. some things when I'm being real. Um, uh, there is one guy I did want to mention, an uh, up and coming unturned YouTuber. He made like a documentary thing about Unturned Console Edition. Did they? What was the consensus? Like, what was the entire idea about it? Uh, oh, his name is Kendall R. Uh, it's called <laughs> The Sad State of Unturned Console One Year Later. Really? I need to watch that. I'll watch that later in my time. Unturned Console is a fucking failure. It's funny. I made a video titled Why Unturned Console Will Fail, and I was mocked for, the, for suggesting that the video, that it would fail. But yeah, but everybody check failed. out I was Kendall right. R. Oh. Kendall <laughs> R. Check him out. Oh, wow. Shut up. Bitch. I think people That's know that, like, up. I mean, like, I knew it was gonna fail the moment we saw that trailer. <laughs> but I had a little bit of hope, like, that maybe there would be, like, something I get, like, corrected, but no, I, w I was not corrected. And I was, in fact, uh, proven right. Uh, here is the video for Real, actually. It was, uh, I was thinking of the wrong one. It's called The Reason Unturned Console Edition Failed. That is the video, viewers. <clears throat> Isn't Fun Lab didn't, not didn't... working on the game though anymore? It's fucking five oh five. I feel I feel like at this point they're not going to. He goes over the entire to. history <sighs> of it all. It's a twenty two minute video. I'll video. watch it. I want to learn more, honestly, because I think uh, Unturned mm -hmm. Console Edition is like the biggest failure in Unturned history. In in history. <laughs> no, in Unturned history, like in that's the history. this is the biggest failure. Like uh, nothing that Nelson has ever done in his like entire development uh see <laughs> series could never amount to the amount of like issues and how much problems i i have with console so as much as i like i think that people would hate uh like for me to say that that's the truth you know console is just really bad they they refumbled so hard i think even i think there potentially is even like an idea that 505 is like just really fucky with games I think there's a lot of other gaming communities that they've also went through, based on what Spevy said, uh, that, like, this company fucks over games, basically, and makes them <laughs> not have the same things, to, like, on day one, first of all, <sighs> and then just fucking uh, ruins a bunch of shit. <laughs> Which, I don't know. It's, uh, it's fucked. Do we have anything else to talk about? What else do we have to talk about? There's like a couple things I'm forgetting. Console sucks cock. Console does suck. It wasn't cock. Nelson's yeah. fault though. That he mm -hmm. like just kind of li licensed them the game, but they kind of butchered it. Yeah. Very unfortunate right. event. Is there is there anything else that we really need to talk about? I'm trying to I'm trying to think of things. Come on, give me something. <laughs> something to talk uh, about? Unturned for the fuck. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see what else. Uh, um, I know, wait, here's, here's, here's Animatic thing. has posted an update. He is still working on the the next Kuwait update, so that will come eventually. Uh, oh, wait, another question Twitter. related to Unturned. How many times do people like do people joke about Nelson's last name? <laughs> Probably. A lot. I don't know. I think everyone does. If I, I'm yeah. Being real. No, but like, has he like like how like how many jokes does like does he get like DM to him? Who? I don't. I do. How many Nelson emails? Sexton. Nelson, Nelson Sexton. Watching Nelson. Say in the comments how many times <laughs> you've been bullied for your name. Your last name. He's not gonna <laughs> answer that, man. <laughs> he might. No, he I might. think everyone has made like a like a slight joke about the name. I think that's that, that's fair to say. Mm -hmm. uh, but on well, that entire idea name? of like of like uh, messages, can I say something real quick? Fucking. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nelson responded to like so many fucking emails uh, ever since 2019 to now, which is kind of uh, funny because I remember like Yandere Dev fucking was complaining that like, he was getting sent too many emails. It was trying Meanwhile, to respond Nelson's to all of them. Just like Chad, and Chad and Nelson just over here. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a shit. Chad Nelson's fucking replying to like everything. You think he, he I... ignores dumb emails? You think? Dude, no, he even looks at email? them. He posted the nail gun uh, email, like something about a nail gun. Uh, I remember. I'm like, he's responding to this shit. <laughs> I'm maybe like, that's really he, funny. Maybe he's <laughs> just, you know, maybe he's just, uh, maybe he just finds it fun. 
Maybe he does. I mean, I would. I think I think there's a lot of dumb things that are said through emails directly to somebody. I mean, when I was a uh, when I was like an admin for a server, and we had this way of like applications to like become a staff member. It was a private application, right? So it was like an email you would send to this uh, application bot. And this is like back in the day. So this is like this is like fucking front new frontier type of shit. So it was like an email you would send to this bot. And the email would be sent to the, the head admin, the owner, and I think, yeah, the head admin, the owner, and a couple admins, uh, depending on, like, their status in the fucking, uh, you know, listing. And there'd be the dumbest shit for applications that were sent over to them. <laughs> like, I remember reading a couple of them, and they were, like, really funny. I can't, I don't remember exactly, like, some stuff off the top of my head, but I just remember laughing so hard. At, like, some of these people's applications. So I would think that Nelson's, like, emails are pretty funny uh, based on the audience and my own experience with emails from people. So I think mm-hmm. I think that would be interesting. I don't know. I think they're pretty funny. I would think they're pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else and is there? Yeah. Unturned paper edition. They're making glueless models. That's true. Mm-hmm. I, I thought they were uh, not glueless originally. I'm being real. <laughs> I thought they weren't. <laughs> I thought they were just like something. Uh... Well, they were for me because I just used clear tape. Ah. I could not glue it. I could not. And uh, but yeah, I'm I'm glad that they're releasing glueless models so that retarded people like me can have a chance of actually making them. So. Does anyone know who the UCH Twitter account belongs to? Yes. Pro- probably orange guy. Yes. Oh, I see. Uh oh yeah, I was gonna say this. I might come back to glitching. I I think right. I think it's Bruh. about time. It's about time. Shut up, Z man. I think it's about time to come back. Honestly, the fuck up. <laughs> there's nothing being said right now, Z man. I need to say something. You're you're not contributing whatsoever. You're the worst. You know what? You know what, Z man? I've had enough. I've had enough of you. All right, you're you you were impatient this entire time that we had this episode. We look at. Just for context, we had like about like 10 minutes before this episode started, and Z-Man gave me fucking the worst time of my life. He is the the insufferable. (laughs) Z-Man 1064 is insufferable to work with. If you work with this guy, I fucking pray. I pray to you that you have as much patience as me, because the amount of times you have to deal with this guy's impatience, like, is insane. It, like, every second, man, every fucking second... Every fucking second of this man's existence is just to be, uh, like, like an annoyance, like a okay? <laughs> I've had a numb. I'm ready to shoot! I'm ready to shoot! Come on! I'm ready to shoot! Shut the fuck up! This guy was going off for 30 minutes saying that let's start the podcast, and, like, half the cast wasn't there. <laughs> and I'm fucking Bro, just like, dude. Fuck. Oh, yeah. And then I was trying- Okay, I'm gonna explain this real quick. We'll try to- before the episode started. Pl- first of all, we start at, like, a certain time. And I told mm-hmm. Z-Man, we're starting at this time. And he is fucking trying to want to get something to eat because he wanted to eat something before the podcast, which I said it was fine. Me and Knight agreed that it was fine because he went too. And literally, Z-Man, every fucking second, was saying, start the podcast, start the podcast. It was so fucking it annoying. It started 12 PSD. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. It was so annoying, dude. The get, work with, get, get the the work with Z-Man 1064 is the worst experience. No one should this ever is, do this so. This is slander and fake news. This I'm is all true. This is all true. I've had no, enough. This is all fake it's news. It's all true, but I disagree with Charles in the sense that that is why I love working with Z-Man. No, what the fuck? What? He's just a schizo. So no, so no the fatherless child. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Motherfucker's like, oh, that's too loud, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking stop, no Leave more. the podcast now. <laughs> Flip off the podcast. Renaxon, Renax, Renaxon, let's get in a call. Let's Renax. talk about Arid Lord. Renax, okay? Renaxon, no, no. Uh, Renaxon, get rid of the, uh, get rid of the, uh, and the get rid of the Z Man NPC. On the podcast. Get rid of the Z Man NPC. I don't know. I asked him and he just said no. Wait, what? Maybe he was memeing. The enemy Maybe. Elber does have lore. You will not convince me otherwise. Maybe that's why you scared him away with your fucking rantings about Elver lore. Oh, you see, on no, Greece, there's this one rock that has lore. writing on it. Dude, this guy, the, the enemy can't even read past two sentences without getting bored. Wait, Knight, did you do FNAF lore? thinks that Elver is some kind no. of ethno state. What? You mean what? Knight? 
Elver, Elver is an ethno. Hmm. What? <laughs> what the fuck is an ethnos? That's what he said. <laughs> Try to. What do you mean? What is an ethno state? An ethno state is yeah. like a totalitarian country where they only allow one race or ethnicity in. Hence, ethno. Well, there, well, the, well, there's the cultists, but then there's normal people. Are we trying to say <laughs> they're all zombies, Lamau. But wait, 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 wait. Wait, Knight, are you a FNAF lore enthusiast? Never played FNAF, don't care about FNAF, didn't It know. has the biggest lore, yet you focus on Unturned lore. Unturned has the biggest lore. I think Unturned's lore is, like, pretty funny if you if you think about it's, it. It's funny. Oh, oh yeah, yeah on Unturned's, FNAF yeah, has, like, Unturned's one of the lore lores. is funny, and it's cool, and it's interesting. FNAF, so is FNAF lore is like, Gregory, suck my cock, Gregory. <laughs> right. so, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna tweet something, and I was writing it all down of all the things I have in my head of like things that are like not talked about whatsoever. Like, there's nothing about them, and I'm just reading them, and I'm like, I have in one of the listing that like Nelson's a murderer, and I'm like, this is the most <laughs> schizo thing I've ever read. <laughs> wrote. <laughs> there's like so much dumb shit I have on there. Like, if someone was like reading this, they would think that Unturned is like a fucking has so much depth to it. That like it's impossible to like actually get Nelson into it. killed like John the, Lennon. Like Nelson the, uh, killed iceberg. John Lennon. El Dude, I fucking stop, bro. Leave the podcast now. You okay. literally, you literally, Z Man Ten Sixty Four is literally the worst person to work with. So are you getting ready to wrap I'm this up? Soon? You know, Col you know, Colossal, Colossal, Colossal is crazy. Like he's lazy. That's why the Beta didn't work, and that's why fucking he was on Mom's basement anymore. You're you're basically that, but the opposite. You're fucking annoying. <laughs> You're fucking annoying. You're full of shit. This podcast is gonna become fucking baited. Like, it's gonna end, like, abruptly for no reason. Because of you. <laughs> no. No, I refuse to let this podcast end. I'm the best. <laughs> refuse to let it end. I refuse. You, you refuse to let it end? Mm-hmm. Okay, what, what else is that? Well, I, I mean, say? not oh, yeah. this specific episode, but, like, the podcast itself. I was gonna say, I, I think I think it's about time that I think I come back into the glitching scene, honestly. Uh huh. I think I've I've had enough of a break and I need to get motivated again to do so. Shut the fuck up. Because there there is so much <laughs> shit that has been uh undone and so much stuff that has been done. Nelson, if you're listening to this, please like like uh mute the podcast real quick. Just don't listen anymore. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying right now? Uh there's a bunch of like stuff that could be exploited now, I believe. Uh, I was messing around with stuff, and I was like, there's so much stuff. The Velocity update, it was the greatest thing for unturned glitching. Um, uh -huh. Not because it, it was broken on day one. To all the people that think that they're glitchers just because they, they exploited the Velocity update on day one, I hope you are, like, I hope you're very sad with your life. I hope that you, like, think that, <laughs> you, that you're, like, the Shut greatest the person up. that exists because you're not. But, like, no, anyone that thinks that they're a glitcher because they exploited, like, day one Velocity, I'm like, that's really sad. <laughs> But no, the Velocity has done a lot of fucking things that are, like, kind of crazy. Uh, that have not been discovered yet. And I think uh, really... I'm willing to go into this pretty well. What did, uh -huh. what are these gifts, man? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with all of you? I can't, I'm, this, this is not even the beginning of the episode. Uh, what else is there to talk about? This is the worst episode. Yeah, I think so. Episode. You guys are not yeah. saying anything. It's because we well, don't have any personalities. No, this is we just, great like, episode. exploit our guests, kind of. What? That's <laughs> fake fucking news, bro. I'm kidding. Dude, I'm kidding. How are you? Okay, okay. You know what, Knight? I really hate your grease slur. Why? What? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Why? Let's have a, let's have a debate. Why? Let's have a debate. Let's have a debate right now, because we're not talking about anything. Why are you making lore on the workshop maps? Let's let, let's talk about the workshop like uh, people that think that the workshop is in the lore and me who believes the vanilla lore? maps. I believe PI. Technically lore. yes, technically yes. Oh, Greece. The only curated isn't a map in the lore is Russia. A curated bro. map. Exactly. Are, that's what I was saying. Like literally, the last curated map, technically speaking, that has lore was Russia. There might be a multi. Russia wasn't curated. It had the. Yeah, well, bro, Nelson Greece is in the same universe as. Bro, if it's curated, it's canon. End of story. I don't, how, I don't okay, know. Okay, explain how. Explain how. Because the last map, technically speaking, that I would believe would be in the lore Arid was Germany. No, Germany. In, yeah, Germany was... Germany was Greece, the last map. Bro? No. What? 
listen. Grease lore. I think this is how this is the maps that I will consider a part of the lore. And personally, PI Washington Russia, Germany Yukon. Uh, <laughs> technically, if you want to get if you want to get meta here, I would say Monolith and Alpha Valley too, uh, for different reasons that I won't get into. into right now. That's, that's true. Like Alpha, I mean, well, Alpha Valley was like the first ever playable map for Unturned Three. Yeah, it, it was the first map. I remember the one video of Paul Source Junior like fighting a Mega, but the night Mega was like he didn't have a shirt; he only had like pants on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Knight, explain to me why you believe that the Workshop maps are part of the lore. It's not. Don't don't call them workshop maps. They're curated maps. All right. So, so right maps? No, I'm sorry, but okay. Here's the thing. Here's the, the problem. Here's the problem. For a reason. Here's the that problem. Is why here's the I problem. They're curated. I'm concerned. They were this... accepted by the big man himself. Z- oh my god. I was gonna say Z man Knight. Uh, here's the problem. It's I have a with it. Hawaii. A Hawaii had the same issue. Hawaii and Ireland, like Hawaii. I'm gonna I'm a point to Hawaii because it was the longest standing like auto subscribe map. Uh, and then got fucking wiped. So, I honestly don't trust that entire idea because I what happened to Hawaii. Hawaii is like the only thing I can really point to here because it's the longest like standing map that was a part of the game, and it was like literally it's in the name, like in the name of Unturned, like Hawaii is in one of the letters. You know, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah I, I know, know what you're talking mean. about. And Hawaii got fucking put into a workshop map. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I wonder why. Okay, it's just this. Just because it's a temporary thing doesn't mean it's no longer canon. Like, how are you gonna do that? How are you but gonna add is, a story um, that is canon for why a little bit? Why did they get rid of Hawaii? <laughs> no, I think I've heard. I don't know. I think it was like Nelson said it was like space reasons. I believe it was like mm-hmm. it was taking up too much space. But personally, I think it was because of like internal finding. Because Ireland got removed directly before it, and then the next like in, like a couple days, Hawaii was also removed. So I'm not sure if people complained behind the scenes. Uh, saying that why that why is like Hawaii staying a part of the game while our map isn't, and uh, and that's what got it removed. That's why I feel per- that's my own like personal conspiracy theory about it. That Hawaii was sabotaged by a bunch of people who didn't want their maps to get put to the workshop and wanted to be infinitely curated like Hawaii was, which ultimately led to Hawaii being killed. Uh, that's my my I, theory. I know Z-Man, I agree with you on the multiverse thing, but however there are. No, I mean, like, the main the lore. Universe. I'm talking about main lore. Like, I, I personally don't think that, yeah, like... The, most of the curated maps are part of the main lore. They why? Because they're curated. I've explained that. Doesn't that mean really it doesn't like, matter if they were removed after a little bit. But, like, that doesn't really matter. I mean, like, Nelson... I think Nelson's had, like... I mean, Nelson's always had his hands. But the last map, he's technically, technically been majorly because a part if of. If he that removed it, that would be Russia. called retconning. And, and then Germany... I spoke gotta... with Nelson in my interview, and he said he doesn't like retconning things. So those maps have got to be still canon. No, nah, we gotta make a. I mean, they have to make a map where there's like it's like Spider-Man No Way Home, where it connects to the multiverse. Bro. I would believe. Oh, I would people believe are you. people are already working on that, but I don't know how much I can say. So I would believe you if it, it was like gonna... a same, like a, there was like a multiverse. I would, I would believe you on that, but I would I wouldn't say they're a part of the main lore. I don't think that's true. Well, Elver, yeah, a, Elver a is a, another universe, and the upcoming British Isles map is another universe. Elver and Dango are both in the same universe, and the rest are in our main universe, as far as I'm aware. I still don't know about Arid yet. He has yet to add the lore notes, but we will see once he does add the lore notes, which they will come at some point. Yeah. They will come. But I, personally, I don't know. I just feel like what you're saying about like i don't think the lore is the main thing that makes a thing get curated though that's what my con- like, like main constituents with your idea that the curated maps are like you know lore. it's not the main thing but it is part of it because i know toothy Arid doesn't I... even have lore based on what you just said right now it was not curated, yet right? Not well, not yet. yet, but still, that didn't make it curated. Like, the lore being a part of it didn't make it curated. I'm so. sure they explained some sort of summary to Nelson or something. I don't know. I think that's that's a bit unfair to say. That, like, as a but reason. The... When there's literally no lore, based on what you're saying. Yet. There is environmental lore. I will say that. Oh, what do you yeah, mean yeah, environmental lore? Like... I love the environmental lore. It's a desert. <laughs> it's a desert. <laughs> We need to no, make sex it's... lore. It's a desert. <laughs> no, but like I, I mean, personally, as someone that's like uh, an OG Nelson map elitist, uh, I would say that the la- the last technical lore, true lore, uh, map was Germany. 
that's based on viewers what? do not listen to him if you listen to him i no longer have a youtube channel basically so do not i mean i him. mean you can listen to night's lore i mean it's not it's not like bad but personally as a, a nelson unturned map elitist i'm saying that the last technical map that has the true lore of unturned the pure lore that was influenced by nelson was technically germany so all right you tell us in the comments Our there's there's pure there's pure lore and then there's 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 pure lore <laughs> And there's like diluted there lore. Anymore? There's diluted uh, lore. I guess Russia's kind of diluted lore too. Uh, uh, but I would say diluted lore is like the curated mess. Nelson today. basically Wait. said the lore is out of his hands well, now because that's even what back when he was making the official maps, he wanted Unturned to be in like the 90s. But now he's accepted the fact that I thought it's it was like in the... 2016. Yeah, 2016, 2017. Yeah. 2017. That was, wasn't that always a thing, though, after Washington was released? Because the Soviet Union was referenced. No, yeah, Arid is, it's 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 based in, like, the 80s. It's like, it's Arid, yeah, Arid right. is. My theory for Arid is That's that... another multiverse, that's another thing. Well, uh, my theory for Arid is that it's actually in the main universe, but here's the thing, right? Back in time. Maybe Scorpion 7, it was older than we thought, and they synthesized the turned infection around that time and they wound up testing it in this fictional country of arid and once that broke out people actually yeah, did yeah, manage to contain it in that country and then every they basically covered up an entire country because of it until our main outbreak in the uh no i think it's a, it's a it's a fucking it's uh it's fucking Oh. I asked for Naxon and he said he didn't remember if it was in the main universe or another one. He said he thinks it was the main universe. So how are we, how are we supposed to take this the word of the Lord? That doesn't make sense, though. To, to me, okay, Soviet he's, Union not, didn't he's not writing the Lord. Universe? He's outsourcing it to someone. Yeah, but like I'm just saying, like even Martian that that makes me concerned, and that's why I'm saying that's why I'm saying the last pure, like actual, personally, what I believe is the Lord is Germany, because you have situations like that. <laughs> Listen, if the lore winds up being bad, I will be fair and I will critique it, but I will also tell it how it is. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's fine. But I'm saying that the, the last peer was mm -hmm. Germany. <laughs> and I'm asking I mean, you, why? Somebody said Sir Addy was writing the lore for Arid at some point, but I'm not sure how accurate that is. Conspiracy? Sir Addy is behind the lore? <laughs> Perhaps, perhaps. Well, I do. I okay. I think this is a bit out there, but I remember something saying like that. Sir Addy's helping Nelson. There was, no, it was the interview with Zumbi. The second interview. You can go back to this one. I remember Sir Addy was Nelson mentioned Sir Addy as someone helping him with the actual lore of Unturned or something like that. I, I think maybe I was reading too much into something that he said relating to Sir Addy. Uh, but literally, I remember something like that that Nelson said in the Zumbi second interview. Uh, we had 4.0 in the background. I remember that. Very interesting stuff. I remember having sex with your mom. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, like... I did uh, think Sir Addy was helping with Unturned too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the, the main context, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, we ha I have a little bit of a gripe, I think, before we end off this episode. How long are we in? How, how far are we in? Um, like we're almost... Okay, we're, I don't think... Uh, yeah, we're almost an hour in. There's one more oh. gripe I have with, uh, someone in this call right now. Wow. Um, Knight Rider. <laughs> Knight Rider has... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me... I'm not even fucking done! Let me talk! Knight Rider has promoted the podcast the in his up. recent Grease video, which I'm very happy about. Um, mm -hmm. also, Z-Man1064 has also promoted the podcast in his most recent episode. Uh, Trident Games, I believe, has also... Like, I think you've mentioned the Unturned podcast, right? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I have. So the only person I have a gripe with is me. My next video. What will it, what will it be? And I'm considering what it's going to be. And I think I have to make a, a hit video on Z-Man 1064. Bruh? Drama? But why Unturned for the fuck. Yeah, so, no um... comment. No, I have to make a new video promoting the fucking podcast. That that was my entire, like, fucking thing. I might do it on my channel or something. Bruh. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm is not exactly else? a big sex expert. You know who is a big sex expert? Nelson 
Sexton. Sexton. Oh my god. Now, <laughs> I now Nelson, the question we all want to know is how much is a ton of sex, okay? <laughs> I want to know. A ton of sex <laughs> versus a ton of bricks. This. I know. All Nelson, right, how sorry. much <laughs> is it? Nelson, how many please hours don't, are we talking? Please don't let this discourage you from, I'm sorry. from I'm watching sorry, our Nelson. podcast. <laughs> please don't let this discourage you from coming on the podcast someday. Yeah, Nelson, if we you want need to know. <laughs> We need to know how much is a dude. Have you guys seen the very real interview with Nelson Sexton by Grapes? Yeah. Uh, no, I have not. Dude, how much is a ton of sex? <laughs> it's, it's definitely a lot. Tell us right in now. the comments. <laughs> About uh, these are like ten thousand hours or so. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. As the um, as the um, as the um. It's definitely a lot. Um, I I'll believe. Dude, sex ton. Dude, I wonder if. Dude, how many jokes do you think Nelson has gotten over the years? We said, dude, dude, you like literally de- like <laughs> you have dementia or something. We literally said this before. Yeah, we did talk about this. Before. Yes, we did. Literally, many, y'all have dementia. How, how often do you think he had jokes made about his name? Yes, dementia. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, so like he's Canadian. Canadians are usually nice. So I don't think that maybe he got that many jokes, but I do think jokes were probably made. Oh, here's a here's a funny story. <laughs> there is a story I was told by a friend uh, about a Canadian that was playing Yukon, and they got so mad at UConn because he's they were like this is not how Canadians dress they don't dress like this <laughs> and, and I just remember well, them saying dress somewhere no because because of the items on uh, UConn like they just said that it's not doesn't represent what they actually wear on UConn or something like that what and do then, they wear um, I don't know they just complained about it <laughs> and UConn I remember them the saying map. I remember them saying like XD. um Wait, oh yeah, wait, Canadian, the, the new the Yukon update. There are someone's working on like a workshop we uh, for someone's like planning to re-update Yukon like unofficially. Mm-hmm. And I, I thought it was going to be official. Like he, I, I, if I, if, if, wait, what? If I remember right, he said that there was going to be like some sort of vote on whether or not to replace Yukon with it. But I could be remembering wrong. Nelson did. No, the person who's making the map said that. Making a... Well, I know someone that's, like, editing Yukon to be a lot more fun to play on. Which is a lot... Yeah. Which is a lot more fun. It's, like, called Yukon Plus or something like that. Yeah, the Yukon Plus. That's the thing. And there's, like, a whole server yeah. up on it right now, if you were to go look for it. Uh, Wait, are we allowed to say, Oh, like... no, we're not talking about the same map, then, because this map is still being made. The one okay, then, then there's, like, two Yukons that I know that are being edited. Because, okay, Yukon could be a good map. It just needs to be like okay. I have a, I have a bit of a gripe uh, with people that say that Yukon is the best survival map. Uh, you're fucking. <laughs> you have like a problem in your head. Uh, I'm talking to you, somebody on Earth. Um, I'm talking to you, <laughs> Sir Addy. Yeah, all, I'm talking to you. News, man. I'm like talking to everybody that believes. I don't even think Sir Addy said that it was the best map. Actually, I'm talking to I'm everyone that believes. No I think fuck I fuck think up. everyone that says that Yukon is the best map actually has a problem in their head. Like they're, boy, they're like narcissistic or something. Style. Is not necessarily considered goaded with the sauce. That's what I've been saying, Tiger. It's crazy no, to me that they don't that. think he's goaded with the sauce. You can see him on the yard right there, actually. He's buzzing it down, sexual style, and they want to say he's not goaded with the sauce. It's really. Ah! You have him. schizophrenia. Is All right, is this, a good, is this a good spot? No, let me let me podcast? finish this thought. People I that think that know. UConn. Fuck, Charles. Everyone that thinks that UConn is the best around map, you actually have a problem in All your right. head. If you think living in a blizzard 24-7 is actually, like, fun to play in, you have a problem. You need to go seek mental health. Uh, like, mental uh, health. Yeah, I gotta agree. Best map for survival is Russia. 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 Yeah, is Russia. I was gonna say. Is Russia. Yeah. Russia or Russia. Germany. Elver. Germany is fuck bad. Germany. Elver Russia. too. Elver Germany too. Germany lag is fuck, man. Russia's the best survival map. Uh, Washington's the best PvP map. Uh, PI, just a classic timeless map. Uh, yeah. that's it. Strike. If you think, okay, okay, just one more time. If you think you can't uh, yeah, map, yeah. you actually need to like. Uh, all right, all right, we're done, Charles. All right, all right well, Charles, well it's over. no, shut up. This is my podcast. Stop trying to dilute it with. Hey, your... It's our podcast. No, yeah, it's our podcast. No, I'm your host, Kukui yeah. Charles. <laughs>
Jack, all right, up. I think I think it's about time that we uh, right. that we end the episode. It was fun. Uh, it was good good time being back. I think we're gonna have a couple more guests on beforehand. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what's gonna happen in Maybe. the upcoming future. <sighs> um, but this concludes the was the sixth episode. <coughs> yeah, this was the sixth mm-hmm. episode of the Unturned Podcast. Uh, all right. Anyone? Bye, everyone. Anything? All right. I, I I just yeah I just I just thank did. you guys for watching. Please uh support no. my Make sure Patreon. To subscribe to um, Pet on YouTube. Pet. Subscribe to this. Um, Pet on YouTube. He made the Unturned Washington review, the Unturned Maple Strike review. Subscribe Sub- to Pet. Subscribe to this Pettle. channel. Subscribe P-I-T-T-L-E. to our individual channels. P-I-T-T-L-E. P-I-T-T-L-E. makes good videos. Subscribe to him immediately. <laughs>